In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at how we can create some scrolling combat text in Unity. Um, basically, I'm going to do this in a 2D game, but you can of course also do this in a, in a 3D game if that's what you want to. So I'm going, going to go through the tutorial by demonstrating or creating a 2D game. Um, but when I'm done with the whole tutorial and we have the scrolling combat text, uh, then I'm going to take it and move it on to a 3D game so that you can see that it also works in the 3D world. So if you are looking for scrolling combat text for a 3D game, uh, then you can also use this tutorial because basically we are going to create the same scripts. Um, the only difference is that we need to change some variables around to make it um, usable in a 3D world. For example, when you run around, you need the text to face you at all times so that you can see uh, the text even if you're standing next to the, the the object that is creating the combat text, for example. So it needs to face the player so you can read it no matter where you're standing. So I'm going to use this uh, 2D game here to create the scrolling combat text and to demonstrate it right now. Um, I'm not going to show you how you can create this game um, because this tutorial is not about how you can create an animated character. It's about creating the scrolling combat text. Um, you can use any project you want to, you can use any 2D project you already have, or you can create a new project to, um, to, to follow along with this tutorial, because basically we are just going to um, use the comma text um, or instantiate the comma text when we collide with some objects. So you can simply just create a new project with a sprite in it or a, a cube or a cylinder or something else, just a simple game object, and then you can collide them um, back and forth. I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple project and follow along, uh, but I'm going to use this, um, this 2D project here to demonstrate the combat text and to create it because it's a little more interesting to look at than just some boxes moving around on a screen. Okay, so let's get to it. Scrolling combat text is a way of showing when a player gains health, for example, or um, gets health reduced if he takes some damage. It's a way of showing that he um, picks up some loot or something else. So I have done this, that my player has some scrolling combat text ahead on the top of him now when he goes into the heart. So this symbolizes that he gets healed. So you can see this scrolling combat text will be able to spawn on top of the player. It will move upwards and then it will fade out after a while. And we will create the scripts so that we can always adjust how much um, how fast the text should be moving, uh, what color it should be, how fast it should fade out, and so on. As you can see here, we have uh, the heart, and I'm, I'm uh, colliding with it right now. And sometimes there pops up a 10, and it's larger than the 5, and it gets like highlighted by uh, being enlarged and then getting small again, as you saw right there. Um, that is actually a critical hit, so I have incorporated the um, ability to get critical hits. Um, when you when you get these um, scrolling combat text so if you get a critical hit you can actually just tell the scrolling combat text that this is a critical and it should highlight it by making it large and then bigger uh, then smaller again afterwards so this was the heart to um, gain health over here we have a bonfire and if i run into the bonfire you'll see the exact same thing as we saw down at the heart but here is it's red and it's a minus ahead of it and this shows that we're reducing our health so you can basically change the color to whatever you want to in this system here. Um, I can also place some loot around here. And when I'm picking this up, you'll see that there are some text um, shown on top of the player when he loots it. So I'll show you some different options so that the text either follows the player when he moves. Now you can see it doesn't follow him. It just spawns on him and moves up. But we can also change some stuff around so that it actually follows the player around. So the loot uh, yeah, follows him if that's what you want. As usual, if you're interested in the assets that I'm using in this project, which includes all the sprites and animations and all the scripts with the full line comments and everything, well, then you can simply just go um, to the link in the description below to acquire the whole project. If you are supporting me by being a patron, you can of course just go to the Patreon page right now and download the whole project with everything included.